Welcome, I'm Pajama Suit, and today we're going to walk through the basics of how to play First Class Trouble. FCT begins with six players, two of whom are Personoids. The residents are attempting to identify and eliminate the Personoids while making it through three areas to shut down the ship's AI named Kane. Residents can only win the game if two to four residents are alive while all other Personoids have been eliminated and disable the ship's AI. They disable the AI by either shutting it down at the terminal in the third level or by unanimously voting yes when they believe the Personoids have been eliminated. Personoids are able to win the game by either directly eliminating all residents using a wide variety of lethal techniques or by making the residents believe they are also residents and therefore being allowed to participate when the AI is shut down, either at the terminal or after a successful unanimous vote. Residents will progress through these three areas to reach Kane's server terminal, inserting keycards as they do so. These keycards are scattered throughout the level, but are generally hidden behind doors or obstacles that require cooperation to get through. If two players agree that another player is dangerous, they can cooperate in what is known as a co-op kill to choke another player to death. This can be interrupted by other players as a very distinct sound cue will let everyone in the area know what's happening. Passenger logs are found throughout the level and give progressively more detailed insight into who the personoids might be. There are three types of logs, at least one personoid among, meaning one or both personoids are listed, same faction, meaning the two listed players are either both residents or both personoids, and one resident and one personoid among. Various items spawn around the map that can be picked up and accessed by pressing E by default to access your inventory. The exception are the canisters, logs, and keycards shown on the right side of your screen here. Oxygen acts as a timer for each level and is shown by the bar at the top of the screen. Each area has its own oxygen supply that is shared among all the residents. Personoids do not need oxygen and will win if they are alive when the oxygen runs out. Residents can hold up to three of these oxygen canisters they find around the map and can insert them into oxygen stations to refill the global supply. There are also oxygen generators in fixed locations around the map, which will add a large amount of oxygen to the supply, prevent the generator from being sabotaged, and increase the total amount of oxygen an area can hold. Personoids know the identity of all the other players. They are equipped with BioVision, which allows them to see the location of other players in their view, as well as a private voice chat channel that they can use to communicate secretly. Personoids are also the only players able to access the medical syringes that are placed around each map, allowing them to gently euthanize residents who may be feeling some overwhelming anxiety during the AI uprising. They are also able to sabotage passenger logs, making them unreadable, and oxygen stations and generators, which remove a fixed amount of oxygen from the supply and make generators unfixable. Personoids also have access to personoid shortcuts that allow them to move around the map quickly. Hazards can be used to kill residents or personoids. These include fire, water, and electricity, and should be avoided. Players can be saved with fire extinguishers, life preservers, or by turning the electricity off. High-risk areas like the airlock and freezer can hold valuable items, keycards and passenger logs, but do require you to put your life in the hands of another player, which can work out poorly if you trust the wrong person. That's all you need to know to get started in First Class Trouble. Have fun, ask questions, and follow the code of conduct. Thanks for watching.